The Professional E-Hailing Drivers and Private Owners Association, an affiliate of Trade Union Congress, is set to partner with an indigenous e-hailing app in a bid to secure its members' welfare and sense of belonging owing to the ill treatment meted against them by app companies Uber and Bolt. The group made their position known while addressing newsmen in Lagos. Jacinta Obuku has more. In a bid to protect the dignity of their labor while also creating an enabling environment for their business to strive, the group Professionals e hailing Drivers and Private Owners Association stresses on a safe transportation system. The app company would deploy only the application which facilitates a link between the drivers and riders and now the only one determining all the rules of engagement. Nigerian e ailing drivers and riders are now find solace in an homegrown application due to synergy between app company and e ailing drivers union. PEDPA, which says some riders are not happy because they are not getting satisfactory services, hints that the new app would change the narrative. There are security mechanism put in place to track any misguided element who might want to perpetrate evil using e alien driver service to rob them of their added money or rob them and go back to steal their, to steal their car. A situation whereby somebody will be working with you, you deploy your vehicle, you are the one maintaining the vehicle, and somebody will be now be dictating the price without your without your input. It's so how. So that is why I'm saying you should support it. We, will, we to tell you we will also support it. We are partnering with this homegrown app and company that is ready and willing to partner with us. No, no deactivation of drivers unjustly. Even if we are doing to uh, deactivate a driver, it will not last for more than 24 hours. And that driver, such driver, will be called for retraining, not suspending of the account. Regarding the issue of insecurity, they allege that due to lack of adequate profiling of drivers as provided by the union, 70% of drivers in Lagos are operating with fake identities. Jacinta Ubiku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.